Hey y'all, this is your girl Mo, and I am wrapping up my Soul Saturday messages with you, Earth Signs. Save the best for last. So if you are a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, this is your Soul Saturday reading, and I hope you enjoy. If it resonates, go ahead, share, subscribe, like, and follow, and make sure you comment how it resonates with you. Starting off, I am looking at both of the first chakra base chakra cards. I'm going to start with the top one that says instinct. I trust that my instincts are correct and I let my natural intuitive feelings guide me forward. I will know what I need to do and how to respond with wisdom to situations that come my way. I have an innate desire to be of service in life as i tap into this feeling i will know what service i am called to do i believe in myself the second first chakra base chakra card is titled independence i know what my needs are and i actively pursue them knowing that i will be guided and provided for when i put in the effort I open myself to all possibilities and participate fully in life. I use my imagination and my vision to initiate what I wish for and I pursue it. I am not waiting to be rescued. I am not a victim. I am strong. And then we go to the next column. We are looking at orphaned yin and Y. The Yang card, which is the counterpart card for Yin, came out for the fire signs, I want to say. So you might want to check out the fire sign video. Um, if not, then it was the water sign video. Um, but check out either one of those. You may have um, either one of those placements in your chart or... You may be dealing with somebody with those placements. You may have been feeling um, left out in the cold, feeling alone and by yourself. I see the Five of Cups with the Orphaned card. So feeling, um, I want to say desperate for the rough times to end. Like just feeling desperate in this state. Feeling like you would just do anything to feel relief. With the number five, there is change coming. There is release coming. But you have to be open to it. You have to allow your energy to be open to that. Um, and you also have to work on grounding yourself, making your, making sure you're connect, connected with spirit. With the yin energy, that is what that speaks to. It speaks to connecting with your feminine soft side. And you may be wondering why these situations keep occurring. Why do you keep ending up back here? Why does this keep happening? The spirit is wanting you to go within and look at that. Upon going within, you will have forward movement. If you look at the last column, that's where I'm at right now. You will have some forward movement. There will be progress. However, spirit is asking you to seek seclusion, to be by yourself at this time. So if you're continuing trying to um, put yourself in group situations and you're like, I don't feel like I belong in these groups, it's because you're not supposed to be there. You're supposed to be at home by yourself in your jammies watching a movie with some ice cream, okay? You're supposed to be sitting there meditating, reading a good book, talking to the divine about your about your troubles, but not just your troubles, but the things that you're grateful for. Um, these are the things needed for you to have that forward movement, for you to have progress. Currently, my stomach hurts. My stomach didn't hurt in the other readings. I feel nauseous. Hmm. Maybe you feel that way about your situation. You feel nervous about the things um, working out in your favor. You need to take some time to learn your lessons. You need to take time to be compassionate um, and to be very mindful of your intentions at this time. 
hermit energy is very heavy. So needing to be by yourself is very heavy at this time. And that's because you're really needing to ground yourself. You're really needing to be connected to Mother Gaia, Earth, and to the Divine Spirit, God. And if we look at the third column where all the universe messages are, I will start reading. So we have energy flows where my intention goes. So you have intention here twice. You really need to be focused on what thoughts you are carrying. If you're continuously saying negative things to yourself, you will continuously provide negative things to the world. And I don't feel that's the energy you necessarily want to be walking in or walking around with. Joy is the ultimate creator. Again, finding joy in the small things. Um, with the learning card in the fourth column, I get a lot of childlike energy connecting to spirit, being one with your inner child. And maybe having compassion for your inner child in ways that other people, when you were growing up as the child, um, having compassion for yourself in ways you wish people had compassion for you. I think that's very important for you right now, earth signs, having compassion for yourself and the way you wished or wish people have had or have compassion for you. So if you're wanting people to have more compassion for you, you need to provide yourself more compassion because then that way when people aren't providing you compassion and they're, um, they're giving you an energy of being rude or dismissive or disrespectful and not allowing for that forward movement or for that progress that you're looking for, you'll be able to cut them and like cut it out or cut them off easier because you are aware of what compassion feels like now. Okay. Like you're used to not feeling that compassion, but because you're providing it to you, you now understand what it feels like. The next message you have from the universe is the moment I embrace my peace within and surrender, the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. This came out with the air signs. So if you have any air sign placements, then you are going to want to check out the air sign video. The other card that came out in that video is the key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. So when you're praying, stop for praying for what you need. Just pray for, like, for example, if you are in a situation where you um, are wanting to move, you don't like where you're living, you're wanting to move, then you pray for the things that you desire in this new space, but don't, like, as you're praying, Allow yourself to be more open to other possibilities, particularly grander possibilities. Like if, for example, as a child, if you have, like they may think they're getting one gift, like a certain gift, right? Or one surprise. And then the, you give them that surprise, but then there's another surprise and it's a lot more than what they had originally wished for. This is you, okay, at this time. So try not to be so stuck in what you believe the situation should come out to. Be more open. My outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. Again, that intention, your mindset. A lot of this energy could be very positive, but you have some lingering doubts, and that's why you need to get grounded. That's why you need to get reconnected to divine. There's a lot of reds, pinks, magentas, crimson colors, orangey colors, and a lot of green colors. So that's your base chakra, your sacral chakra, and um, your heart chakra. So those are the the three chakras that you need to focus on but the main one that came out is your base chakra and it has red or and orange hues to it that has been your message earth signs if it resonates again please like share subscribe comment and um 
yeah, comment what resonates and I'll leave it there. Peace, love, and many blessings.